Welcome to our FB page na Free Reviewers Managed by Leonalyn at ang video ito i-upload natin sa ating YouTube channel na Solving Math with Leonalyn. Now dito na tayo sa number 8 sa ating ratio and proportion at ito ay random po sa ating FB group na Philippine Civil Service Review for All. Now let's read the problem. The number of students in class 1 and 2 are in ratio of 3 is to 5. Isulat natin yan siya. So, class 1, class 2, ang ratio nito ay 3 is to 5. By the way, when it comes to mathematics, never memorize the answers because that will never help you. Kundi yung paraan kung paano natin ito sinagutan. Isa pa, huwag pangunahan ng takot ang mathematics. Relax lang, madali lang ang mathematics. Kasi kung pangunahan nyo ng takot, mawawala na kayo sa concentration. Kaya relax lang, madali lang yung mathematics. Ngayon, kapag magaling kayo sa English, yung mga reading comprehension, napaka-advantage yun kasi maiintindihan nyo yung mga questions sa mathematics, yung mga word problems sa mathematics. So anyway, ano yung next dito? And in class 2 and class 3, so meron pa tayong class 3, are in the ratio of 7 is to 11. So this is 7 is to 11. If the total number, if the total number of students in three classes of a school is 333, what is the strength of the class that has the highest number of students? Kung napanood nyo yung number 5 nito, yung sa ratio pa rin, yung number 5 nito, kung napanood nyo yun kung paano natin isolve kapag mga ganitong klaseng problem, Malamang, masasagutan nyo rin to. Kasi ito yung i-multiply natin. 5 times 7, and this is 35. At itong 5 na yan, yan yung i-multiply natin sa 11, and this is 55. Tapos itong 7 sa baba, yan ang i-multiply natin sa 3, and this is 21. Next, i-add natin itong tatlo. 21 plus 35 plus 55, this is equal to 111. Anong gagawin natin sa 111? Yan yung pang-divide natin sa total. Ang total ay 333. Divided by 11, 111, this is equal to 3. Ngayon, balikan natin yung tanong. What is the strength of Class that has highest number of students. Ang pinaka-highest dito sa tatlo ay itong 55. Kaya yung 55 na yan, yan yung i-multiply natin sa 3. So, 55 times 3 and this is equal to 165. Kaya ang sagot dito ay letter E, 165. Let's double check kung ang total ba dito ay 333. So, i-multiply din natin ang 3 ito. So, this is 15 carry 1, 105 times 3. So, this is 663. So, i-add natin yan. 63 plus 105 plus 165. And this is exactly equal to 333. Yan yung Total. Therefore, yung sagot natin 165, yung pinaka-highest number of students, ay tama. Thank you for watching and all I hope mayroon kayong naintindihan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.